in Quezon City, the Philippines, City volunteers recently organized an event at the Obalara Elementary School on behalf of this year's graduates, besides encouraging students to offer a cup of tea to their educators to thank their years of support. The volunteers also gave each a dictionary to inspire them to study hard. But first, we go to San Mateo, where City volunteers visited three schools to congratulate faculty and students for their dedication. Walking into a school in San Mateo, Rizal Province, the Philippines, city volunteers are here to praise faculty and students for their efforts in recycling. This time, a total of three schools received recognition from the city foundation. The amount of recyclables collected by the schools range from 6,200 to some 8,000 kilos. This is our second time to win the contest. I often tell my students that money is not everything and we don't have to be rich to be able to help the less fortunate. I feel great when I know that the recyclables I donated can help reduce the burden on the planet and help the less fortunate. My first encounter with the Siji Foundation was following Typhoon Kansana. I received relief items from the charity organization. Following Typhoon Kasana in 2009, city volunteers walked into the disaster-stricken areas to offer their assistance. Besides providing free meals to 3,000 malnourished students, the volunteers also inspired them to practice recycling and donate money to bamboo coin banks to help the needy. Two of my students are recipients of Tsuji's free lunch. Every day they'll donate one peso to the bamboo coin bank. For those who won the contest, the volunteers present each with a package filled with stationery and food. The volunteers also prepare three household appliances as gifts to thank the educators whose classes collected the most recyclables for their dedication to promoting the practice of recycling. Meanwhile, at the Obalara Elementary School, city volunteers are here to hold an event on behalf of the graduates, respectfully offering a cup of tea to their teachers. Many students can no longer hold back their tears. The city volunteers act as a bridge that connects us with our teachers and help us better express our gratitude. Students present a thank you card to thank their teacher for his dedication. I want to thank you because you are not only a teacher, but also like a second father to all of us. The bond we have formed is something that cannot be measured in time. As a teacher, I know that I have a significant impact on my students' lives and society. This is the first time I have attended an event like this. My students and the volunteers made me feel extremely proud of being a teacher. As most of the students of the Obalara Elementary School come from underprivileged families, the dictionaries given to the students are considered as precious gifts. Thank you, Tsuji, for giving us each a dictionary. Now we can look up words that we don't understand. I hope Tsuji's footsteps in helping the Obalara Elementary School or the Philippines will never stop. I know city volunteers will continue to carry out the NGO's charity missions here. With the love and support of city volunteers and their educators, graduates of the Obalara Elementary School are ready to embrace the next chapter of their lives.